knowing that whatever he did, he could never begin to pay back this God. Noah was thankful. Thankful. Full of thank. Full of giving thanks and full of living thanks. Matthew Henry once said, Thanksgiving is good, but thanks living is better. And you see, Noah immediately go into, from the thanksgiving in his heart, to thanks living. The very first thing he does is what? Well, you think, he's going to look around. He's going to quickly build a house. I mean, after all, he's experienced such bad weather. What happens if there's another storm? We need to eat. Of course you need to eat. Well, what does Noah do? Well, verse 20 says, And Noah built an altar unto the Lord. Noah was a great carpenter. He built the ark. He was a builder. And as he comes out of the ark, he's a builder again. But notice what he's building now. He builds an altar. Not an ark. He makes this new dry ground. A place of grateful thanksgiving. Of grateful worship. A place of offering and dedication and devotion to the Lord. And he takes a representative of every clean animal that was delivered from judgment. And he brings that animal to the altar, kills the animal, and offers the animal to God. What a beautiful picture of a man who's overwhelmed with the mercy of God, offering sacrifices to God. What a picture of what God does for us in His Son, offering His Son for us. By gracious faith, we receive Him. And through word and sacrament, we, like Noah, worship Him. But as we do so, even this morning, do we do so with this sense of gratefulness, this sense of overwhelming conviction? Why, Lord? Why art Thou treating us so good when we treat Thee so ill? Why have I been graciously spared while others have been justly destroyed. This morning, ask for grace that you will build an altar to the Lord. That you will dedicate your life afresh to the Lord. That as you walk out of this church, you will taste a little bit of what Noah tasted when he walked out of the ark unto a new earth. May God make old things new for you this morning. And that you might covenant yourself away afresh to the living God.